we're going to show you the very, very important backdrop of why 2024 is the start of the four-year cycle. This chart itself at the bottom is telling you about US presidential election. Yes, it is a major catalyst. But behind the backdrop of the US presidential election, we always break it down into a four-year cycle. In sync, kind of in sync with the presidential election date. So if you look carefully, I'm going to give you one example right here. Look at this one. 2024 to 2028. And you really need to understand what I'm writing down here, meaning to say it is always from November to November. All right? November 2020 to November 2024. And then this one again, November 2016, that was Donald, the day Donald Trump got elected. That means he won in the election. But the transition of power is from 17. So let me write it down so that you understand. 2017 is the State of the Union Address. All right? And that's official, official. That means after the two to three months of uh, transition of power, he deliver, delivers the State of the Union Address. Now, that means to say 2017, the entire year, he's in control. 2018 will be the second entire year he's in control. Then 19, entire year he's in control. And then 20, he's in control until November. So that's how you count your four years. Please remember that because people get confused and we are always counting November to November. Meaning to say, if you look at my chart right there, I have... Uh, November, that means I'm looking at November 2016, that's equals to election date, right? Then you look at my cycle below, this is counting election to election. That's what I'm trying to convey to you. Don't mix up. Your reference is always consistent on November to November, all right? So we are right now looking at November 2024, right there. So this November 2024 will happen in 11 months' time. The final year counting down, and that's where Joe Biden is, you know, counting down his days to go to jail. <laughs> All right? So it's as simple as that. So 2024, November is the start. <clears throat> and then, why did I put 24 to 28. So this part here, you also need to understand. And this part here and this part here, you need to understand all this transition of power, all right? Transition of power, November, and then from November 2024 to November 2028. It's all consistently written down there. Now, once I give you this definition, then and only then, I can start walking through with you to nail down the key events. <music> Hi, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the way I go about performing analysis, connecting the dots, then I want to invite you to our upcoming Cozy Live Trading. This is a full-scale, five-hour session. And what we do is this. We always cover the past two weeks, what the key events have happened in the stock market, and we also cover the next two weeks. So together, coming to the Cozy Live Trading, you enjoy one month of complete knowledge whereby we connect the dots, perform the analysis, and then we fire off the trades. So join us really, really soon in the upcoming Cozy Live Trading. Go below right now, click to register, and I shall see you in the class. Thank you. Goodbye.